we got a puppy over Christmas break. So actually he is our little New Year's Eve fur baby. That's what we picked him up. But we are welcoming Charlie. Charlie is a 14 week, I think he's 14, 14 week old boar doodle. Oh, you're so lovable. Thank you. I have lots to share with you as far as Charlie goes, but first we're going to be running this morning and I'm going to drop him off at the groomers for his first haircut. He's in desperate need for one and then he can make his big debut. Here's a before shot of him. So much hair, it's been good. Keeps you nice and warm outside, but I think it's maybe a tad bit too long. Just gorgeous. He has like the most beautiful spots and coloring to him. So excited to see what you look like. For now, we chew. Aside from him chewing his bone in the dishwasher and the house is quiet. Everyone's back at school as of today and my husband's back at work. He was off for the whole last week. So very much looking forward to getting back in routine. You know, we had a really good break, but at the same time, it's like routine. We all just thrive on it. I'm officially a free mom for just a couple of hours and then I'll need to pick up all my little babies. Charlie has a couple hours and the twins as well. So I'm interested to see. She said for the first time for their grooming, she doesn't do like a full cut. She just kind of trims around the face and the paws and all that. And I said, if he handles it well, which I don't know if he will, he was pretty scared going in there. If he handles it well, just trim maybe a little bit of fur off of his body as well. Not a ton, cause I love his long hair, but just trim it up a little bit. So we shall see, but I have a ton of errands to run. You know, between getting sick and being out of town and then just everyone home, I just didn't get out very much and get things done. So my first stop is the P.O. Box to pick up all of my cards. I'm so behind, but I do plan to still return cards. They just won't be Christmas cards. They will probably just be hello cards or Happy New Year. We are all home now, safe and sound. I was a worried dog mom probably the entire two hours. <laughs> Charlie was gone. You know, I brought him into the groomers and there was like huge dogs and then there were some other ones too, but you could just feel him kind of shaky like, what are we doing here? You better not leave me. And so I was just worried with how he was going to handle it, but all went well. He looks adorable and I will show you him and talk about him here in just a little bit, but he is sleepy now. He needs his rest oh my goodness poor puppy but so cute but anyways i did stop at my p.o box and you all know how to get me to cry i cannot believe some of the things that you guys have sent to my p.o box like they're just amazing you've sent me some of just the most incredible gifts and i am forever thankful so it's supposed to be a happy video but i do want to try to get through this without crying and share with you some of the most amazing gifts that i have to remember Bailey. Okay, I'm done crying. Well, we'll see about that, no promises. But Molly, Molly had this original little painting done of Bailey. Isn't that incredible? I just love it with the wreath around her. It's perfect. I'm definitely going to frame this and put this up. The next gift came from Lorena and it's a Ray Dunn necklace with the heart and the paw prints. And it's precious and I love it forever in my heart. I will most definitely wear this. <sighs> this next gift is also something I was considering doing and still may do as well, but it's just a letter here and it says, in memory of Bailey, a gift has been made by Kim and family to the Center for Companion Animal Health. And it says that they do all kinds of research to find cures for diseases and conditions that cause pain and suffering among our companion animals. So, thank you, Kim. I have two gifts left and I think I shuffled them around, but I'll, I think I got it right with who sent what. But Kelly, oh my gosh, I had no idea you could even have something like this done. Let me open it here, it's a keychain. Going to add it to my keys. I, my my whole like keychain that I have is going to be full of talk ones, but I don't care. Oh my gosh. It's perfect, it says Bailey on it. And it's a picture of her as well. How cool is that? Oh, and Bailey loved car rides, by the way. She really did, so. Okay, last one. I'm pretty proud of myself for not crying as much as I want to. Oh my gosh, and Jennifer, this keychain too. 
I'm putting them all on. I don't even care. I love them. It has little angel wings, a paw print. Can I make it through? Let's see. When tomorrow starts without me, don't think we are far apart. Nope, couldn't make it. But for every time you think of me, I'm right here inside your heart. This is the third time I'm fourth, actually, <laughs> because I can't get it together. But it's been really hard. I've been really, I've taken down all the Christmas decor. It's all down, it's put away, and we're living kind of a minimal style right now because we have to take everything out here in less than a week for new carpet. And it was really hard to pack up all the ornaments on my Christmas trees specifically all the Bailey ones. Slight intermission, my husband came home for lunch, which was good, so I could get out my tears. And now we're gonna move on to happy things, which is Charlie, I'm so excited to talk about him. So Charlie, we learned about this particular breed, a boar doodle, through a family friend. He actually adopted a puppy, oh my goodness, less than a year ago, and we had a chance to meet him over the summer when we were there for a party, and we just fell in love with him. The kids really liked him. He's just a really good dog, and he was a lot of fun. And for whatever reason, when my sister heard that we were kind of looking for a new dog, she sent me the link to, or the name and number of the people who breed board doodles. So I just happened to briefly look at their website and then I started researching the breed a little bit more, kind of seeing if that's what we were looking for. We really wanted a medium sized dog and of course something that was good for families with kids and you know how that goes and how things run around here. So we did a ton of research and just decided that this was what we were looking for and he is just the cutest thing ever. Now this, there was a family actually who initially was planning to adopt Charlie and it fell through. They had some emergencies come up and just decided to hold off on bringing a new dog home. And so I feel like it was almost, I don't wanna say luck or fate or whatever, but I feel like it was meant to be, that Charlie was meant to be our next dog. So we had kind of talked with this, um, the gal over the phone and looked at pictures. I said, could you just send me a picture or a video before we drive all the way out there? And so she did and it was just love. It was love when I watched him just running around playing. I'm like, that's our dog. And we just knew. And so we're so happy to have him here. I drove, so it was about a two and a half hour drive to pick him up and then we just turned around and came right back home with him and he's adjusted very well the first day he was very shy and kind of unsure what to think which we knew and then every day after that you could see his personality just coming out even more where he's turning into that crazy puppy that we were <laughs> expecting to get so Yes, it's been actually really well. I plan to be up all night with him the first night. He slept through the night. I think he was just so tired from getting here. Second night, I was like, okay, he's he's adjusted. He's probably going to wake me up in the morning. Slept through the night again. And by sleeping through the night, I mean, we went to bed probably around 9.30, 10 o'clock. And then I get up pretty early, so 5 a.m., which I thought was pretty good for him. Last night was his third night. He did get up one time at midnight, but you know, we went out, did our business, and then we went right back to bed, no problems at all. So overall, the overnight so far, I don't, I should probably knock on wood. They're going really well. So super thankful about that. We do still need to house train him and that we have lots of work to do, especially with the new carpet coming in. So it's going to be a week to kind of see how far we can get him as far as house training and trying to go outside more versus in the house. And if we're still having lots of accidents, we're going to have to look into doing some gates or figure out a solution. Uh, so we don't wreck our new carpet that's going to be getting installed. So yeah, we're, we're doing very well. It's been really fun, like I said, to have a new little fur baby running around the house. And I'm looking forward to it. I, it's, he's definitely keeping me busy. Charlie, no, Charlie here, Charlie this, Charlie that. He loves to find all shoes and slippers and he'll just run out and terrorize us <laughs> with a shoe in his mouth. He is chewing away on his toys, but he's called a Merle Bordoodle and he is, I believe what she said, he is 75% Poodle and 25% Border Collie. Is that what you are? You're super special. He doesn't care. He's just happy to be home, I think. 
that's pretty much all I had to share with you in today's video. I just wanted to introduce you to our new little fur baby, Charlie. We're so excited. I did set up a crate in my office. He has one actually up in our bedroom as well, which is more of like a pet carrier style. It's uh, more plastic than this, which is more metal, but he sleeps up in that in our bedroom, which I think has really helped him transition well, just being close by to me. And then during the day, if I need to like run out, run some errands, he'll go in the crate in here. And I hope that will work. We'll just have to see. You know, training a puppy is something that's brand new to me. I have not done in what, 13 years since Bailey was a puppy. And yeah, there's gonna be things that get destroyed. We know that. And <laughs> but lots of kisses and love as well to come along with him. So super excited and happy and you'll be seeing so much more of Charlie as he grows in some upcoming videos as well. Let's show everybody, come here. Okay, Charlie, come here, come here. Okay, Charlie, sit. Good boy, good boy. Okay, come over here, come over here. We started working on that yesterday. Let's go over here. Okay, sit. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. It's actually been super cold out, like the worst timing to be house training a dog. The day we got him, it was 35 below zero. The next day it was the same exact. And so today it says it's 28 degrees out. It is like a heat wave outside my friend. So we went on a little walk. We're still working on the whole leash thing. He's like, what is this? And why is it hooked to me? So we're doing some leash training and house training, but I think we almost have the sit command down which is kind of fun dog life is hard though isn't it it really is it's gonna be hard to get anything done around here now because all they want to do is play with you and snuggle All right, my friends, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed meeting Charlie. We are all so very much in love. And if there's one thing Bailey showed us, it's that life is too short and we are here for all the dogs. So anyways, thank you so much for watching and all of your love over the past few weeks. We so appreciate it. But thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video very soon, later this week. One more announcement, bye. Take you there